Welcome back to Impossible Color. This week's video is part one in the Emergence Portrait Makeover. I'll be covering some advanced color editing. So if you're just getting started in Photoshop and Adobe Camera Raw, I recommend choosing one of my other videos first. So the first thing that I did was choose the cropping tool. And I cropped in tight to put more focus on the model and get rid of the scraggly trees in the background. Then when I zoomed in, I see that there's some chromatic aberration. So basically you see these lines that are on the outside of the model. You get kind of a purple on one side and then a green on the other side. If you choose remove chromatic aberration, you can set the amount that you want to defringe and also set the range. So if you look in closely, you can see kind of a green outline around the flowers that I'm removing. Then I'm going to adjust my white balance. I'm not getting too picky with this because I will be adjusting the colors dramatically later on, but I want to cool it off and change the tint a little bit. Then on the exposure, I start with the whites and shadows and then move on to the highlights and blacks for a refinement. I'm making it look as ideal as I can for the model, ignoring the background for now. So I'll be treating that with a separate exposure later on. I'm gonna reduce the clarity a little bit to soften up the image. Not so much local contrast. And some fine tuning. Then we'll look at the hue saturation adjustments after we save a snapshot here. And we're gonna bring the reds a little bit on the cooler side. Make the, the lips look a little pinky and add some uh, warmness to the to the skin with the oranges. And bring my aqua a little bit more towards blue. And on the saturation side, um, I want to warm up and bring those reds a little bit brighter and basically all the cool colors I'm going to bring down. And as you make these changes, you may notice that you may need to change your chromatic aberration uh, lens corrections a little bit as well. So basically what you're doing is neutralizing those outlines, those color, bright colored outlines around your model. And onto the last tab in the HSL. We're going to brighten up the reds, orange, and oranges uh, just to help this, the skin pop out a little bit. And I'm going to bring the background a little bit darker by bringing down the yellows and greens. And now I'm going to do some curves adjustments and I'm doing them individually for each color, um, R, G, and B. And generally what I find is using an S curve it gives the best look for this, a nice natural flow. And try not to go too dramatic in these tabs because it, you can really easily make your image look horrible quickly. So just some subtle shifts. I, I like to play around uh, moving to the top, to the bottom, um, side to side. And usually you, you want an opposite between your, uh, your light side and your dark side. Sometimes you may want a, a full shift to one side or the other, but I find more often than not, it, you want to go opposites with an S curve. And we'll save in a, uh, a snapshot for that as well and call it RGB curves. And open that up in Photoshop. Now we're going to go back into Adobe Camera Raw and do a whole other uh, exposure settings for the background. So I want the background to be darker and uh, let the model stand brighter. So I'm just going to drag that separate exposure into the same file. You can see the difference here. And I'm just going to paint in a quick mask to a uh, layer mask so it peeks through to the other side. If you hit uh, backslash, you can get that red preview. So I'm just doing this just to see roughly what it would look like. And it does look like I'm getting the effect that I want. 
Um, just going to adjust the opacity a little bit here, and then we'll do a, a refined selection now that I know that this is going to work. So I'm going to use the uh, quick selection tool and I'm going to keep the foreground rocks in there and basically uh, the entire model. You can hold down alt to remove a selection. Or you can hold down shift to add to the selection. And you may want to use some of your other selection tools like the lasso tool or the magic wand. But I find this one usually gets it pretty close. If you're having difficulties in some areas, just decrease your brush size and you get more precise. And when we're all done here, we're going to use the refine edge uh, options as well to get it even more precise. So in the refine edge, uh, you can use the refine radius tool. And you can paint some of those trouble areas where your selection is just a little bit off. Basically just paint along those edges and it usually detects it pretty closely to what you want. Now we're going to uh, do an invert on that, on that selection. And there we go. We've got the model a lot brighter and the background a lot darker. Good idea to zoom in and out and see your image from various perspectives as you make changes in Photoshop. Gonna duplicate that layer. And just steal its uh steal its layer mask by holding down alt and dragging it to the layer below. And I'm gonna do a curves adjustment. Basically, I want to brighten up that model even, even more, really help it pop. It looks like I went a bit extreme, but because I did a, a layer adjustment, I can change it at any point. So I'm basically just working in the curves and trying to increase some contrast using an S curve. And I think that pops a lot more. I'm going to group all of this together and just call it merged. That gives me a good base for the other changes that I want to do now. And I'm just using the spot removal tool, getting rid of little imperfections that I see in the skin here. We're going to be doing a more refined pass after this, but this is just kind of giving us a, a good base to start with. And that concludes part one of the Emergence Portrait Makeover. Be sure to check out part two coming next week. Thanks for checking out Impossible Color. If you have any comments or ideas for new videos, please add them to the comment section below. And if you want to support the channel, please click thumbs up and hit the little green subscribe button. 
See you next week.